Yeah, you know the difference between a battle king and your favorite rapper, a king. Your favorite rapper ah, strives to be like me. Hi everyone, Chris Newhart here, and I'm live at Irie's place with yeah, yo, yeah. criticism, and Tristan, Heck yeah, and thank you so much for you guys taking the time to do this interview today, and uh, greatly appreciate having you here. And for a little bit, uh, for people that aren't familiar with your genre of music, could you let people know about what genre of music you guys uh, do, and follow up to that, what got you into that genre of music? So, I guess my answer to that would be, we're in no specific genre. Hip hop, rap, rock, pop. Heck yeah. Um, I think that's real, but to me, hip hop is just an, a creative outlet. So, to me, hip hop is all of that. Heck yeah. And uh, I was listening to some of your music before you guys got here, and it's definitely a different range of that. Um, you know, <laughs> but yeah, it's awesome. It, it was really good. It sounded really professional, and I liked it. So, um, heck yeah. Uh, what what got you guys into hip hop and, and pop and rock and all the different genres? Damn. So we was we met when we was 15 years old. And Cheyenne had been a singer, and I wrote some stuff, but nothing really. And then we just decided to do it, and we wrote this song called Life, and it clicked immediately. Yeah. Heck yeah. And we wrote and recorded and yeah. sat in circles freestyling yeah. all the time. So. That's awesome. Yeah. And getting into clubs to do, to do live performances. Yeah, it's snuck in the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yep. Well, shout out to you guys doing that together and trying to build an empire together. Heck Thanks, yeah. brother. Heck yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. And, and speaking of empires, you know, what's some advice that you give to people that are trying to follow in your footsteps? Because not a lot of people realize, you know, that you have to be an entrepreneur, you know, to really market yourself and brand yourself and come up with your own album cover and your style and everything. And, you know, what's some advice you give to people? are trying to follow in your footsteps and do what you guys are doing. I would say do what you love and believe in yourself. Do what you love. You can do love anything you, do. you put your mind to, for sure. Heck yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> for real. Yes, sir. <laughs> Never give up. Yeah. For real. Never surrender. Heck yeah. <laughs> I mean, seven years ago, we were both pretty much living on the streets. So we had nothing. We lost our kids. We lost everything, really. So yeah. we're living proof that you can. Sure. That's what's up. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Appreciate that advice. Heck yeah. And, and uh, back, back in the day, who are some people that inspired you uh, musically? And is there anyone that currently today inspires you? I would say um, Tupac, obviously, Biggie, um, A Tribe Called Quest, if you've heard of them. Oh, yeah. I love A Tribe Called Quest. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. Of course, yeah. Um, nowadays, I mean, Tom McDonald's killing it. He is. He's if you've heard of him, Fire, you Tom McDonald? Not yet, I don't think so. Oh, you got to check him out. Sure. Heck yeah. Yeah, Heck yeah. <laughs> and uh, we actually ran across each other at uh, Shop for a Rapper. Um, I was wondering if you guys could talk a little bit more about that, you know, um, how that kind of came to being and, and what part you guys had in that. and and. Uh, it was such a beautiful experience, you know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> I mean, yeah, fortunately, we were in a position this year to help people. You know, not everyone has been there. So. Oh, yeah, especially during COVID yeah, for, for sure. people who not, so, don't realize during this interview, this is the, you know, 2020 Christmas COVID yeah, pandemic, crazy. so crazy. it's <laughs> wild. So, and we talked about taking, like, involving our kids and stuff like that just so they know. That they're pretty lucky, you know. <laughs> For real. <laughs> so, and then Cristal reached out to us and told us about the event, and we were on board for sure. Heck yeah. That was awesome cool to see things. your kids up in the booth. I know, they loved yeah, it. it. They Heck loved yeah, it. being on the Christmas jingle track. Even though I had to pay them to get in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> Two bucks a piece. <laughs> yeah. Rats. Heck yeah. Yeah, they got a little nervous. For real. <laughs> and uh, 
What do you hope to see come from uh, Shop with a Rapper over the next couple of years since this was its first year? If we could grow it, that would be awesome. The yeah. The more people we can help, the better. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what Lance's plan is with it, but I'm sure, you know, whatever Lance does usually turns out pretty big. So, and this For was the real. first year and it turned out great. So, it was, it was For I'm real. sure he'll, you know, continue and we'd like to continue working with him on it. And you know, just help as many people as we can. Get back to the community. I mean, we've been there and, you know, about what it means to get support from outside. For real. It was so beautiful to go and, and see uh, rappers of all people put their money where their mouth is yeah. and, you know, yeah. get back to the community. And hopefully next year, you know, it could be not just rappers, but DJs or, yeah. you know, anyone, anyone musically yeah, inclined, you, you know. Be, you, yeah, you don't have to be a rapper. You could be you know, a rock star, a jazz player. Yeah. It don't matter, you know? For real. Exactly. For real. <laughs> it don't matter. For real. For real. Yeah, so I'm excited to see it grow. And it was just so beautiful to see all those kids pretty much get everything they wanted and more and see all yeah. those uh, shopping awesome. carts filled up. And it's like we took yeah, the whole block so over. It was awesome. <laughs> For real. It was such a beautiful experience. And yep. can't wait to be there again to cover it. And yeah. For real. <laughs> I don't even think uh, the kid we took could grasp the idea of what was going on. We tried to tell him, hey, you know, get this. He said, that's $40. I can't get it. Well, you can get it. You can get it, you know. And it's it's sad, but it's, it's dope that there's people out there helping. For real. Yeah, it was so beautiful because you normally see rappers blow money on cars and jewelry and clothes, not normally kids and Christmas, so yeah. hopefully that will start a, a trend. <laughs> yeah, especially this year. Yeah, for for sure. real, especially this year. It was, yeah. you know, definitely needed more than ever because a lot of people talking this year like, what Christmas? Yeah. Like yeah, a lot of real. people don't have a job, you know, because they the pandemic. Their bills. <laughs> yeah, you know, so to, for uh, musicians and rappers to come out of their pocket and take kids shop and you know not just their kids but people from the community you know appreciate you guys doing that being part of it and everything and like I said I can't wait to see the future of it so yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. Yeah. So, for real another charity that we're involved with called the Penny Project um, you can find that on Facebook too and that's that's dope it's just helping people all year round that's kids that need it families that need it and we sponsored a couple kids for that as well and they had a, they do like a, a store in the mall every year. Heck yeah. And this year they did a free wrapping. They wrap your presents for donations and stuff, you know, and take donations. And so oh, wow, that's well. cool. Yeah. Heck yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Appreciate the charity work you guys do because I love doing charity yeah. work. And it feels so good to give back to the community. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. <laughs> do you, uh, can you give a shout out to their, uh, that link again to that charity that you were talking about? Uh, yeah, it's called The Penny Project. And uh, it's ran by Town Lucero. So if you can look him up on Facebook, you can find it directly. Heck yeah. Shout out to Town Lucero. <laughs> For real. Absolutely. Well, real quick, before we get going, uh, could you give everyone out your uh, social media links, your website, where people can listen to more of your music and see where you guys will be performing next, hopefully after yeah. you know, COVID calms right. down. Yeah. <laughs> so all of our links are the same name, and it's Crit and Vix, D-A-D-T, Don't Ask, Don't Tell, um, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, everything. Twitter. So, Twitter. Heck yeah. yeah. Well, follow... Uh, these awesome humans are so awesome and and they're uh got some big things coming up and and please like share subscribe comment on all their social media stuff and thank you everyone for tuning in much love and respect much love and respect Yeah, yeah. Hey, What's up? I'm Craig. We're just here at Iris Your Place enjoying our drink lives and jobs. Yeah, yeah. Be like me in every way. Be talk. I'm a better I'm a motherfucking. I'm a motherfucking. I'm a motherfucking king on this motherfucking beat. I bet you, you want some? Get wrecked too, bitch. I am death proof. I bet you, the next move best you. Let's do it how they did it in the West and test you. A little bit of bone ice cube and tattoo, bitch. I have.